guys, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you this really easy design for the still day, which is tomorrow, Monday the 14th of July. And um, so we're going to start off with some white paint and we're going to do flag waves, so two French flags. Um, we're going to layer, so we're going to tear the paint so that your blue is going to be a bit higher, a bit lower than the white and then again with the red. So we're going to make the flags look like they're waving in the wind. Um, so next going in with some black paint, this is Wolf Black and a number 3 local now round brush. We're going to do a line in between the colours and then fade it out, so we're going to use a flat brush, make sure it's dry and just blend that pe black paint out while it's wet. You'll see a bit better when I do it on the other side, you'll have a better view. And then just continue to outline the rest of the flag. Just adds a bit of dimension and the shadow is where the flag would be bent. And again on the other side we're going to do exactly the same thing. So again make sure you do it while the paint is wet. Um, so I'll do the lines one at a time so you've got time to blend it out. That's the flags done. Next we're going to go in and draw the Eiffel Tower. So I literally just got a, a picture, a clip art picture of the Eiffel Tower up on the laptop and just copied it. It's fairly simple. I just done it just in all black. Um, so the main thing is yeah, getting the arch right. Um, and another difficulty, especially when filming, is making sure that the Eiffel Tower is actually up straight. Make sure you start fairly low on the eyebrows so that you've got enough room to fit in the whole of the Eiffel Tower to the top. glitter to the flag, so some red glitter to the red bit, um, and blue to the blue. I left the white bit plain. Next we're adding in some fireworks, so we're doing teardrops round in a circle, finishing at the same fo focal point in the centre. We're going to add some yellow paint to the centre and flick it outwards so that that looks like it's the explosion and then we're going to go in with some navy paint and create a bigger firework behind that for exactly the same technique back in with the yellow paint and we're going to add some gold glitter to the center and some dots just surrounding it Next I decided to add one more white firework and this is going to go in front of the tower. Just adds another layer and makes it feel a bit more multi-dimensional. And that is the design pretty much done. So, oh no, a bit more glitter of course and that's it finished. So I hope you like this one and you can recreate it at an event soon. Um, many thanks for watching, I'll see you later.